Welcome to Coffee Time. I'm Justin, this is Fox and Robin recording, and let's get on with today's video. Okay, so today's coffee time. I got my coffee here. Um, always drinking coffee, all times of the day. Uh, but for those who don't know what coffee time is, this is kind of a time for my studio, myself, to kind of talk and rant about basically anything that I can think of or th stuff that kind of comes to my head that I'm like not sure what to do a video on. This is kind of what coffee time is. And we've got kind of a subject today that is on my mind a little bit and we'll, uh, we'll kind of go over it here. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Today's topic is about uh, how, how artists can get their, um, their stuff to the next level. I've had a couple bands, artists in the local scene here kind of ask me like, hey, how can we get our stuff to the next level? How can we get to the next level? And I've been trying to figure that out myself. And then it kind of dawned on me, a couple bands kind of came to me and they were like, we do everything ourselves and we do this and we do that. And we just do a lot of it ourselves, um, whether it's marketing or, or recording and mixing, or, you know, writing songs. Now writing your songs, you probably should do that yourself. I absolutely agree with that. Um, however, um, a, a thought dawned on me is they record themselves. Um, I, I don't agree with that. Like I do to a certain extent, record your demos, get them kind of where you want them to be. Um, but this next thing is going to be take them to somebody who can uh, help you get them into uh, the state that they need to be in, like kind of polish them to the best they can be, help you rewrite some stuff, maybe um, produce the tracks to be um, as high a quality as possible or, you know, find find friends who can help you. I recommend coming to a studio like ours or anything that's in your area and just have them produce you. Like have a guy sit there, listen to your tracks, tell you the flaws of the track and hopefully they can help you fix those and get the tracks to the best of their ability. That um, is probably the thing I would recommend the most to get you to come out of uh, whatever funk you're in or if you want stuff to just go to that next level find someone who can help you uh we can help obviously we're a recording studio uh we can help you get to that next level we can also help you uh with whatever you might think you need of whether it's writing producing mixing you know mastering all that stuff um, i do recommend that you use a, a mastering engineer definitely don't master your own tracks you're too close to the project by then that it's just better off to send it to somebody who doesn't know and there's lots of guys that will do it fairly inexpensively um i can't think of any off the top of my head there's a lot that i've worked with in the past but uh you'll find someone that will even do you a free master if you're like I, i'm not sure they'll do a free master usually for you and you can kind of judge whether or not you're going to work with that uh we do that ourselves uh but we just kind of were thinking about that lately how to get to the next level um honestly we think about that our own selves i go to other people when i'm trying to figure out how do i get my studio to the next level how do i get better clients better this better artists better musicians how do i make myself a better musician how do i make myself a better mixing engineer how do I make the space sound better? You know, I go to people that I know and trust, um, and I do recommend that you find someone you trust. Don't go to just a regular random person. Uh, you know, find someone that you kind of trust who can help you mix, master, produce, whatever you need to get your band or your artist name, whatever it might be, to that next level. Um, that's just kind of how I feel about that. So if you've been watching our videos, we are, Super grateful for those who have hit the like and also very grateful for those who have subscribed. We've gotten a lot of subscribers this month, so um, keep keep it up. We enjoy it. We also enjoy talking with people as long as you're not doing anything negative towards us or to anybody on our channel. Um, we don't respond to negativity, but we are super grateful for the likes and subscribes. And you know what? We're going to go make some music. So should you. We'll see you next time.